Uh, this is Steven from LOJ with a little bit of a shop update for you. I'm stealing the shop update thing from our buddy Jesse over at Level 7 Motorsports where they make really, really cool trucks. They build race trucks. Um, we're building a race car. This is a 2003 Nissan 350Z track build. So this is not a street car, this is a race car. Um, and the customer, the client that this car is being built for, wants something fast, fun, and reliable to take the local track days. No sanctioned competition at this time, maybe someday in the future, but he wants a safe, reliable car to take on HPDEs and local time trial style events and all that. So what we have is an 03 350Z swapped using all of LOJ's stuff. We've got a 6.2 liter LS3 based engine, but it is a built motor, high compression, forged rods, pistons, naturally aspirated, 12 to one compression, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, ported stock heads, fast intake, big throttle body, actually, no, stock throttle body right now. I think we'll be swapping that out before we finish it up. LOJ's long tube headers and a full exhaust system. Uh, fuel system is done in this car. It's um, LOJ's drop-in fuel pump with an AEM fuel pump in it and all the uh, plumbing is done for that already. Brakes are done in this car. They are Aki Bonos in the front and factory track spec Brembo's in the rear. Uh, ABS has been deleted, factory master cylinder with a Willwood proportioning valve. We redid all the plumbing in the car for that. Uh, suspension, it's got the whole SPL catalog just puked all over this car, control arms, bushings, you name it. That's all in there, uh, MCS, uh, motion control suspension, coilovers, so it's their damper dampers with Swift Springs. Wheels and tires, I think they are Rota TE37 knockoffs and the whole interior is gutted. It's got a full um, like time attack spec roll cage in it. Uh, I'll get some footage of that and dabble it in here so you can see that. Um, OMP racing seat, aftermarket column, all the good stuff inside. So I'm rambling all this stuff off. You're like, oh, this is a build update, but we know nothing about this car and it sounds like you did a lot already. Well, we did. And this is the first shop update, build update. So this is where we're at on this car. So what's left? Two things that are gonna take a long time. Those two things are plumbing the entire dry sump oil system. Yes, this is an LS motor, but it's a dry sump LS motor with a daily dry sump system in it. Um, what does that mean? That means the oil does not reside in the engine. The sump is dry. The oil resides in a reservoir that's mounted inside the car. And we have to do some plumbing work to actually connect the pump that's mounted on the oil pan to the reservoir in the back of the car so that we can draw oil from the reservoir to the pump, pump it into the engine, and then the siphon section of the pump will pull that oil out and send it back to the tank. Um, this is for better oil control and high G maneuvers so that you don't lose oil pressure to the engine. Um, so the pan is mounted to the engine, the reservoir is mounted in the back. Other than that, nothing's done. So we have to make all of the hoses, all the AN plumbing for all of that. We have to mount an engine oil cooler. We have to plumb in the remote oil filter setup, the whole deal. So that will round out the oil system. And then once that's done, some body panels have to go back on and then we have to wire the entire car. None of the factory wiring is in this car anymore. It's not gonna have air conditioning or any of that kind of stuff in it, but it's still gonna need functional headlights, taillights, turn signals, brake lights, uh, power windows, and then the whole engine management system. So to do all of that, we will be installing a Haltech Nexus R5 VCU, a vehicle control unit, because it is an ECU and a PDM built into one. So that one unit will be able to power the whole car and handle all the engine management deals in this whole thing. So um, we'll be wiring the whole car to run that VCU, putting in a Haltech digital dash, can keyboard, all that other fun stuff. So come along with us. Um, I am not gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step through this, but I'll be giving you updates here and there, uh, showing you the work that we've gotten done and what we have left to do and explaining some stuff along the way. So thank you for tuning in and we hope you tune in to more future videos, all right? Thanks, bye.